In this video, we're gonna go in depth and take a look at my top table saw accessories that I would not wanna go without. A couple disclaimers before we get started. I paid for all these items. Not a single one was sent to me for free. Personally, that's never gonna to matter to me when it comes to using, let alone promoting a product. But I know I'm not naive to it. People are getting paid to promote subpar products all the time. So I'm not naive to that either. So it's always nice to make that known. Secondly, you don't need any of this. All you need is a blade and power to plug the saw in. But when it comes to being faster, easier, more efficient, safer, more accurate, just you name it, all that good stuff. These are all quality products that I use very frequent, 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 if not daily. So let's get right into it. Starting with one that's already on the saw and usually always is, and that's the Jessam Clear Cut Table Saw Stock Guides. These are definitely a premium item, but man, they are so cool. There are so many benefits to these. They keep your workpiece material tight down on the table saw. And also the rubber wheels are angled at five degrees. So as you push it through, it keeps your material pulled tight to the fence. You can imagine how helpful this would be, especially on bigger, heavier pieces. But just watch as I push this through, not even anywhere near the fence, but it's automatically gonna pull it tight. The guides also have one-way bearings, meaning the wheels can only roll forwards, not backwards. And that's a safety benefit of these because next to touching your hand in the saw blade, the next danger on a table saw would be kickback. And that's where your material gets bound up in between the blade and the fence. And then it'll either fly up and back at you or straight out the back. And you should stand off to the side to avoid that, but that's not always possible. So with these, at least, you have that added safety benefit of your material, even if it gets bound up, it can't pull back up, shoot out at you. It can only go forwards. As you can see, it's quick to get these up out of the way. Just the big knob right up on top. They store out of the way up right up on the fence. And then real quick sit up as well. Whatever height you're using, I got a thicker piece here. You'll just take this and then set your wood right under the metal part there and then lock it down. And then when you run you through, the wheels will engage exactly where they should. The guides come on this track and you just these two knobs here. You can adjust where that is. I just keep one in front of the blade and one right behind it. And tighten that down. And this is made to be screwed right into your fence with self-tapping metal screws. And as you can see, I, I didn't want to do that. So shout out to whoever came up with this idea. It's something I just saw online. And that's using a piece of three quarters plywood with these mag switches which are what they sound like, magnetic switches where you can turn them on and off. Now these definitely aren't cheap either. It's an added expense here, but I use these for other jigs as well. I can just unscrew these from the wood and use them elsewhere, but just really nice. All we gotta do is turn these two knobs on the two magnets and lift the whole thing up off the saw. Next on the list is the Craig Precision Setup Bars. And this is a really helpful when it comes to setting up for things like rabbits, dados, lap joints, any type of joinery like that where accuracy matters. This is where these are really helpful. I really like this style in particular just because they're so versatile and you can use them in many different ways. Say quarter inch, for example, you have a quarter inch here, a quarter inch here, quarter inch here. And as a matter of fact, they're all exactly a quarter of an inch thick. So that's helpful in its own right. These are great to use for the router table setup as well. But just as an example, I really like this orientation to set the height of the blade really easy to be able to tell when it's touching and you can feel it. And then if you want to set up the fence and go here, easy peasy. I will say there are some other companies offering these a lot cheaper on Amazon, but Craig is a reputable company. And in this case here, these are very accurate, I'm really happy with them. So it may or may not be a gamble of buying some of those other ones. Who knows? Moving on to the Wixie digital angle gauge. And I know I said you don't need any of these, but this is bordering on the line of, you really should get one of these if you bevel your saw blade much at all. Speaking on the Wixie brand in particular, again, it's just a reputable company that I find I can trust to be accurate. Uh, tools like my Laguna planer, for example, has a Wixie gauge built into it. So just a great quality product that I trust. To use the gauge, it's real easy. You first just set it on your table and you wanna zero that out if it's not already. And then it's magnetic, so we'll go on the side of the blade. And you'll just make sure, wanna make sure you're putting it on the flat part of the blade and not up on the teeth, because those stick out further and will throw off your angle. But once that's stuck on there, we can go ahead and adjust. 
to any angle you want. And like I said, I found it to be really accurate. So this is one that I highly recommend and is more of a need than all the other ones. Next up are these special clamps to use with jigs and attaching stuff to the fence. There's two different styles I'm gonna show you, but these first ones are just called fence clamps. So let's go ahead and remove this. And you can see these are great for attaching stuff to the fence. Like I have this sacrificial fence here. You just drill a hole right on top and then you can clamp that really quick and easy. Like I said, all you gotta do is drill the one hole and you can get stuff attached to your fence. And then another example would be attaching this little block I have here for a stop block to use with the miter gauge. And remember, you don't want to pinch material between your blade and the fence, so this is great. Just quick and easy to have that attached on there. So then when you run your piece through, there's room and it's not going to get bound up. The other clamps I use a lot on the table saw, more so for making jigs, are the micro jig dovetail clamps. And these come with a special dovetail bit. And you can see the head of the clamp is shaped like a dovetail. Went ahead and got my rack that I made for these down so I can show what I'm talking about. But you just take that dovetail bit and you'll run it through your jig and the clamp will just slide right in that groove and allow you to clamp down. As you can see, these dovetail clamps can do everything that these fence clamps do when it comes to actually attaching stuff to the fence. But these are just so much more versatile to use for other jigs like out here on the table saw. But really, <laughs> these are pretty cheap, so it's really nice having both of them for those times where all you need is that one little hole. Can't beat this for how much easier and faster this is to set up. All right, moving on to, <laughs> and I'm sorry guys, it is another bigger budget item. It's the Jessam Miter XL2 miter gauge. This may not be something that everyone even needs, depending on how you like to work. But for me, upgrading from the stock miter gauge that comes with the saw to something like this Jessam is an unbelievable difference. When it comes to miter gauges, there really aren't that many bells and whistles. You have the flip up stop here, no deflection, easy to adjust. This one has the extension arm, goes out to 36 inches. Then that just flips out for your stop there. Easy to adjust the angle, loosen the handle, then you just pull out the knob and there are certain detents at common angles. The differences in miter gauges is gonna come with quality of the materials, accuracy, and adjustability. There are some miter gauges that if they don't come square out of the box, you literally can't adjust them. And that's just crazy to me, but plenty of adjustability in this if it doesn't already come set up. And just like the stock guides that I started the video with, Jessam is known for their quality products. And really there's not much more I'm gonna say about it. Um, I'm sure most of you know Mark from The Wood Whisperer. If you're watching these type of videos on YouTube, not too long ago, he did a really in-depth video going over basically every miter gauge on the market. And I had this before he made that video, but he, he ended up picking Jessam as his overall favorite out of all of them. And everything he had to say about it just reaffirmed what I believe about it too. So if you're interested in looking for a quality miter gauge, I highly recommend checking out that video. Now my last accessory that I highly recommend for your table saw is a shameless plug for my latest build video and plans for this cabinet here. It is so nice having all this stuff, plus a lot more, stored right here under the wing of the table saw. But that's it, no gimmicky products, just high quality stuff that I'm using all the time here on the table saw. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I usually stick to just doing build videos, but let me know down in the comments if you like this type of content sprinkled in between as well. Until next time, take care.